Have you ever found yourself transported back to the late 70s, lounging on the living room carpet with the family, eagerly anticipating the next episode of a TV series that seemed to capture the essence of the era? Maybe you stumbled upon Eight is Enough, a show that became a household name during its run from 1977 to 1981. Reflecting the challenges and joys of a large family, the series struck a chord with viewers, offering a glimpse into the Bradford household's ups and downs. Do you recall the first time you tuned in to witness the dynamics of the Bradford family unfold? Or perhaps you've come across lesser known facts and anecdotes about the show that add an extra layer of fascination to its history. The journey of Eight is Enough goes beyond the screen, intertwining with the memories and experiences of its audience. Now let's delve into some intriguing aspects of the series. Did you know that the show was loosely based on the life of syndicated newspaper columnist Thomas Braden and his book of the same name? This real-life inspiration added a unique flavor to the scripted narratives, grounding the Bradford family in a semblance of reality. The cast chemistry also played a pivotal role, fostering a connection that resonated with viewers. As we explore these details, we're curious about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. What moments left a lasting impression on you? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. So, whether you're revisiting the Bradford family's adventures or discovering them for the first time, Eight is Enough remains a timeless piece of television history that continues to captivate audiences. It's not just a show, it's a journey through the trials and triumphs of a family navigating the challenges of the late 70s. Eight is Enough, a television series that debuted in the late 70s, traces its origins to the 1975 book of the same name by Thomas Braden. The show, which premiered in 1977, revolves around columnist Tom Bradford, who navigates the challenges of raising his eight diverse children following the untimely death of his wife. With its ensemble cast and poignant storytelling, the series struck a chord with viewers, blending humor and heart in its portrayal of family dynamics. The Bradford brood, each with a distinct personality, contributed to the show's unique style, offering a relatable yet entertaining glimpse into the ups and downs of a large family. Dick Van Patten's portrayal of Tom Bradford and the engaging performances by the ensemble cast, including Adam Rich as the youngest Bradford, added depth to the characters. The series resonated with audiences and left an enduring impact on popular culture, becoming a touchstone for family-oriented television. Its success paved the way for subsequent family sitcoms and left an indelible mark on the era's television landscape, showcasing the power of storytelling in capturing the essence of familial bonds. The TV series Eight is Enough, born from Thomas Braden's 1975 book, underwent a name change from Braden to Bradford for a more appealing, all-American vibe. The show, premiering in 1977, centered on columnist Tom Bradford managing the complexities of raising his diverse brood after his wife's untimely demise. Notably, each of the eight children brought a distinct personality to the series, offering a relatable yet entertaining peek into the dynamics of a large family. The ensemble cast, led by Dick Van Patten, delivered engaging performances that resonated with audiences, making it a touchstone for family-oriented television. Transitioning into the series itself, the first four seasons skillfully balanced storylines among the Bradford siblings, but by the final season, Willie Alm's popularity led to a shift, impacting the roles of other regulars. Meanwhile, Nicholas served as a constant thread in the series structure. These dynamics, shaped by character popularity and narrative choices, contributed to the show's enduring impact on television, paving the way for future family sitcoms. Abby's first husband, Frank Abbott, faced the harsh reality of the Vietnam War. This poignant aspect of the 1977 family series 8 is enough adds a layer of depth to the show's narrative. Set against the backdrop of a large family navigating life's challenges, the character Abby grapples with the loss of her first husband in the war. This storyline provides a unique perspective on the societal issues of the time and highlights the show's willingness to address complex, real-world themes. The portrayal of Abby's resilience and the impact of war on family life contributes to the show's enduring relevance. The series, with its blend of relatable family dynamics and a willingness to tackle serious subjects, solidified its place in television history. A rare hour-long show with a laugh track, Eight is Enough distinguished itself, captivating audiences with a balance of humor and heartfelt storytelling.
The inclusion of such impactful narratives like Abby's story showcases the show's commitment to exploring the complexities of familial bonds in a changing world, leaving a lasting mark on television. Lanny Ograti, sister of Don Grady from My Three Sons, faced a tragic end, succumbing to a drug overdose on September 25, 2001. Notably, her brother Don, known for his role as Robbie Douglas, also passed away due to cancer on June 27, 2012. The interconnected web of relationships among the cast members of the 1977 family series delves into intriguing dynamics. Lori Walters, portraying a character 11 years younger than her on-screen mother Diana Highland and six months older than her stepmother Betty Buckley, adds a layer of complexity to the show's familial narrative. While the show thrived on family dynamics, an interesting twist occurred with Mark Hamill, known for his role in a galaxy far, far away. Despite disliking the comedic turn of the series, he stuck to his commitment. However, fate had different plans as a serious auto accident, coincidentally on the pilot's airing night, forced him to quit. Hamill, who sustained facial injuries, later downplayed the severity, leaving room for speculation. These behind-the-scenes stories intertwining tragedy, familial connections, and unexpected exits offer a captivating glimpse into the intricacies of the iconic series. Each revelation sheds light on the human aspects that often go unnoticed in the world of television, showcasing the series' rich tapestry beyond its on-screen portrayal. Diana Highland's untimely death during the production of the spring 1977 episodes marked a pivotal moment for the series. After completing only four episodes as the family matriarch, the show had to navigate significant changes. When it returned that fall, Tom Bradford had become a widower, with his wife having passed away about a year ago. This unexpected turn in the storyline not only affected the character dynamics, but also showcased the resilience of the show in adapting to unforeseen challenges. The impact of Diana Highland's absence reverberated through subsequent seasons, prompting shifts in narrative focus and character development. The adjustments made to accommodate the change demonstrated the series' commitment to maintaining its essence while navigating real-world challenges. This unforeseen event added a layer of depth to the show, influencing its trajectory in unexpected ways. Beyond the on-screen adjustments, the behind-the-scenes details shed light on the intricate workings of television production. The need to reconfigure the storyline and integrate the new theme song, sung by Grant Goodev, who played David, showcased the series' ability to evolve while retaining its core identity. Goodev's contribution to the theme song added a personal touch, reflecting the interconnected relationships within the cast. As the series unfolded, each episode became a testament to the show's ability to adapt, not only to the scripted narrative, but also to the challenges thrown its way. The enduring success of Eight is Enough lies not just in its portrayal of family dynamics, but also in its resilience in the face of unexpected events, both on and off the screen. As we bid adieu to the world of Eight is Enough, let's take a moment to journey back to the charm and chaos of the Bradford family. Perhaps you found solace in their relatable struggles or laughter in their endearing mishaps. The beauty of this timeless series lies in its ability to weave the threads of family, love, and growth into the fabric of our memories. As you reflect on your personal connection with Eight is Enough, we invite you to share the tapestry of emotions it wove into your life. Whether it's a favorite episode that became an indelible mark on your heart or a character whose journey resonated with your own, your stories are the ink that completes the narrative. In this digital space, let's build a collective mosaic of memories where each fragment contributes to the larger picture of what made Eight is Enough an enduring masterpiece. Your words, like the Bradford family bonds, have the power to transcend time and create a shared experience that binds us all. So, dear friend, share your thoughts, memories, and reflections. Let the echoes of the Bradford household resonate in the corridors of our collective consciousness. Your unique perspective adds color to the canvas of Eight is Enough, making it not just a show, but a cherished chapter in the story of our lives. Thank you for taking this stroll down memory lane with us. Your time and interest are the heartbeat of our shared nostalgia. Until we meet again in the realms of cherished TV classics, keep those memories alive.